These parts are the thumper blocks. The thumper blocks are a style of filament block that you use with Sturdy Bunny. They are similar but will replace these filament blocks that are for, uh, from Triple Decky. They um, come in two pieces. Uh, they are easy to print. They do not have any support material for the base part or for the filament path part that you have to remove and take off. Um, they are also a little bit thinner, 1.75 millimeters thinner than the triple decky parts. So that means I think that these are about the same width as the original um, ERCF version 1.1 parts. So all of the hardware that you have, the rods and the D-shaft, um, uh, can be used unmodified. You don't have to um, like lose one of these blocks because they won't fit and when you're using triple decky. You can use these directly, and uh, that's a really nice benefit. Or you can like lose one of your one of your things, but use a bypass. But anyways, how do you put this together? Really easy. Once they print, you take them off the plate. There's no cleanup necessary. Just make sure that they fit okay. This part here goes into that little groove, just like that. You squeeze it in. There's a little bit of touching right there, tiny bit, but boom, it comes right down. You should have, it should be smooth and be easy to move, no binding. That's what you're looking for. Um, very similar to tri triple decky, you're going to get your magnets. The magnets go on the front part, here and here. It's the same process, you just push them in. Go down to the bottom part here, the base part, push down. There they go. When you put these in, those magnets will repel one another. You're going to get that springy action. Cool. This trap uses an, a commonly available M4 nut. You just drop it into place. There you go. Line it up. Push it into place. Nice. You don't have to slide in a small part that can break. This is nice and beefy. So you can open, you can put this in, slide it back, open it up, not have to worry about it breaking. This too has a latch, very similar to Triple Decky. Goes in. I like this latch, it fits a little bit better, it's not as hard. Same process. Get your M3 by 12. You can do an M3 by 14. If you do an M3 by 16, um, it kind of bottoms out, discolors this a little bit. So you want to use an M3 by 12. Push it in all the way. Screw it down till it bottoms out. Right around, it seems like right around there. Back off maybe a quarter turn. Unlatch it. Make sure it's not floppy. Should be loose enough to move. That's okay. I think I'll leave it like that. Maybe I'll back off just like, you know, a tiny bit. Sixteenth. That looks good. Should latch. Pretty easily. Top hat, very similar, but it's like missing a section over there. Drops in. Again, you're going to put a BMG gear right in here. To do that, you're going to want to remove these supports. Supports are really easy to remove on this one. These are the only supports that you're going to have with the thumper block. Just get a screwdriver. I like to pop out the middle piece. And then the others will follow right after. You're going to have a small little lip there and a small little lip there. There's a larger section that's cut out right here for the gear. And here's that gear again. Again, lube it up. There are two bearings inside, little needle bearings, pin bearings, and you're going to have an axle. This is what they look like. I showed in the other video that you want to use the gear that does not have a grub screw, does not have a set screw. That gear you're going to put in these bearings, two of them. You're going to lube them up. Pack them with grease or lube or whatever you use. 
Uh, I'm not doing that now. You're going to drop in your bearing, your bearing and your gear, and then these are a press fit. They go in on one side. You can use channel locks, some big pliers to screw them in. You can put them into a vise or a press. You can do it by hand. The flat side right here, start with the gear on it. Try to start it like that. Line everything up. Press down on a flat surface. Yeah, it's kind of going in. Yeah, a little bit. Make sure it's straight. There we go. You'll see that there's a little bit left. I can get pliers. I can. Again, this is the flat side. I can put it on a flat surface, like my desk. Just push down. That's it. Make sure it moves. Easy peasy. Put that top hat in. That's the assembly. Make sure it moves. When you it's time to assemble this, you're going to get the other gear, the one with the set screw. You're going to drop it into place, slide it in, leave that set screw facing up. You're going to put this into the assembly, you're going to slide it in. There's a D shaft that this is going to slide into, just like all the other blocks. Once this is in place, you want to make sure this is lined up the way you want, where it needs to be. You want to make sure it lines up with the other tooth. See the distance here? Should have a similar distance there. Make sure everything lines up, then you're going to tighten that set screw. And then you're going to drop this piece on top. And latch it. Then you're done.